Welcome back on the AM show. Under the distinguished patronage of her ladyship, Justice Gertrude Tokonu, Chief Justice of the Republic of Ghana, the UPSA Law School proudly presents the 2024 Lifetime Achievement in Law Award and Honorific Lecture. The event prevents a rare but high-level opportunity to recognize and acknowledge the outstanding and exemplary contributions of notable Ghanaian personalities in the areas of the rule of law, governance, and the legal academy. Well, this year's Lifetime Achievement in Law Award will be conferred on Nana Dr. S.K. B. Asante. He is Paramount Chief Asante Asokore. He is also former Director, United Nations Center on Transnational Corporations and Chairman of the Committee of Experts, uh, which drafted the 1992 Constitution of Ghana. All of this will be held at an august ceremony befitting the aura of the occasion. And of course, it's this evening at 5 p.m. at the Kofi Ohene Kunedu Auditorium at the UPSA. You can visit the social media platforms of the UPSA Law School or call 0245-347-946 for more information. Well, joining us for a conversation on this all-important honorific lecture and award this evening, we have Thomas Kojo Kwanza. He's a lecturer at the UPSA Law School. We also have Ishak Ibrahim, lecturer at the UPSA Law School. Thomas, Ishak, good morning. Good morning. I know once you have Nana Dr. SKB Asante, it's going to be bombastic, if you like. But... Tell us a bit about this honorific lecture, this award. How long has it been running? And of course, today we are having another installment. Ishak, I'll start with you. Um, yes. So as you just said, um, the maiden edition was actually introduced last year. Right. Uh, when we uh, honored Dr. SKB, uh, Dr. Deidba, uh, a retired Supreme Court uh, justice. Um, so... It is the decision of the UPSA Law School to recognize highly distinguished Ghanaians in the field of law, especially right. those who have contributed to academia. And as I said, last year was instituted, and this year um, we've recognized this particular personality that has achieved so much, both academia, um, international civil service, as well as uh, locally. He has achieved so much. And our objective is, as they said, uh, a nation that does not honor its heroes is not worth dying for. So the UPSA has taken upon itself to recognize this kind of distinguished personalities. In other words, you are giving honor where it's due. That's right. I yes. see. Thomas, and for you, what has this meant, this honorific lecture and award from last year to this year? What has it meant for you? Personally, it's been inspiring. It's been um, insightful because some of these personalities have lived a life that is, is unbelievable, the things that they've been able to achieve um, within a lifetime. For instance, um, Nana Dr. SKB Asante, if you go through his achievements within a short period of, within the period of time which he has lived, it's, it's, it's He's been state attorney. I'm surprised you're saying the short period because he's I mean, pretty, and I've, 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 heard talk about Nana Dr. SKB Asante since I was practically <laughs> very little. I mean, we've heard of him throughout time, but I'm, I'm just pulling, I'm just yes, yanking yes. you. Chain. But compared to his achievements, the, right. the period is short because right. at, at the pinnacle of some, um, some person's careers mm. is what he has done. Someone aspires to work with the UN. He has mm. done that. Another aspires to be a chief. He has done that. Another aspires to be a deputy attorney general, an acting attorney general. He has done that. So within 90 years or even less, he did all that. And it's, it's quite remarkable. And it's, it's exemplary and inspiring for, for some of us. What does this do for academia, the legal field, recognizing these people, giving them the prominence they deserve? OK, yes. It's quite important, as I said, a nation that does not honor his heroes is not worth dying for. By honoring personality of this nature, it tells we young people in academia and people who are aspiring to join that if you give your very best like this personality, one day somebody will recognize you. And that is the very important reason why we are celebrating him to honor his achievement and to encourage the young generation that uh, the future is very bright and we just have to look at a figure like this and give our very best towards our national development. 
Thomas, in terms of your expectations of this evening, the Kofi uh, Ohine Kunedu Auditorium is where this will be held at 5 p.m. People should be seated by, what, 4.30 uh, p.m. thereabouts. Yeah. But let's talk about what we can expect. We've had the first installment. This is going to be the second installment. What can we expect? Before we even talk about who is attending, what can we expect this evening? Um, it's, it's a mixture. It's a mixture. We, we can expect a number of things. There are, because the person we are honoring is a chief, um, we'll have some traditional performances and cultural performances um, by the Sikadan True and um, some other groups. We'll also show a documentary uh, detailing the life and accomplishments of the honoree. Um, also, of course... That sounds interesting. Yes, yes, very, very. Of course, um, we are, th this event is going to be graced by some very important people in our country. The President of the Republic is going mm. to be there himself. And he is going to give, address us. And of course, um, there will be a, um, a logistic lecture by the Chief Justice okay. of the Republic, um, um, Her Ladyship Getri Tokonu. And also, the Attorney General himself will also be there, and he will also give his remarks. All in honor of the honoree, Nana Dr. SKB Asante. And yeah, there will be also other, there will also be other um, surprises, which um, I would not mention here. But anyone who wants to see those surprises should come on board. I see. Well, one that is not a surprise is that your dean will be there. Oh, yeah, the dean will be giving explanation <laughs> as to why. Yeah, but he will be there yes, as well. Definitely. He'll be giving remarks as to why we are instituting this particular awards. Okay. And yeah. your expectations will be? Very, very high. As we said, though you said we should reserve the visiting list, there's high-level Ghanaians who will be attending. Mm. So. Who, who else can participate in this lecture? People in the legal field? I mean, what is it? Is it strictly by invitation? And is it going to be streamed, for example, for those who may want to it's going watch to be, what is happening? Yeah, it's going to be streamed for those who are watching. And the auditorium is massive. Members of the general public can come in. Okay. Uh, and as I said, apart How many from people the can it seat? How many people can it seat? Uh, oh, well over 2,000. Well over 2,000. Yes, yes, yes. And I think that Shanti Hini is part of the guest list as well. Okay. And various the chiefs. Two, four, eight, two, yes, the yes. Second. It's part of the guest list. Various chiefs across the country would also be attending. So this is a high-powered gathering that yep. we can expect yep. later this evening as we honor Nana Dr. SKB Asante. That's right. right. Yes. And uh, are there any final words you'd like to share with us? Yes, yes. We would like to acknowledge our partners and our okay. sponsors. Um, this event is being held in partnership with um, the law firm Betsy Encho, Lecha and Ankoma. And um, we also have um, a number of our sponsors, if I can run through them quickly. Um, we want to acknowledge and thank GCB, Stan Big Bank, APSA, um, Nationwide Medical Insurance, um, United Pension, um, Goyle, we also um, are supported by Twelium, Twelium Industrial Company. And of course, our media partners. We are very grateful to Joy, mm. Joy News, um, Business and Financial Times, Pan-African TV, and um, Channel 247. Right. I don't know whether you mentioned Nationwide Medical Insurance, yes, uh, but I, I see them here as yeah. well. And all of them coming together to ensure that this happens. Uh, anything else you'd like to add, Ishak, before we go? Well, we would really urge members of the public to tune into their TV as well as come in person. As you said, the auditorium have enough capacity uh, so that we can actually, we can make him feel he's really contributed so much for us. Mm. And then we'll be telling more. We don't want to oversell him here because if you really want to know the man, come to the auditorium. You see his background, how he started, even legal education. We've not been able to mention yes, that. Yes, yes. Right. yes, the University of Ghana uh, Law School, yeah. he was one of the pioneers uh, right. who started it. Right. And then his early contribution, most of the justices of the Supreme Court and the retired justices passed through his, his hands as a lecturer. You know, when he launched his book, uh, was it last year or yes. thereabouts, I, I had the privilege of reading and interviewing him, so I'm... Very familiar with some of these, but that's good. Congratulations on the yeoman's work you're doing, celebrating those who deserve honor. Thank and you. Uh, tonight we'll be with you. Thank you so much. Right. So it's all about that honorific lecture and award. It takes place this evening at the 
that auditorium, let me get the name, uh, Kofi Ohene Kunedu Auditorium at 5 p.m. at the UPSA. Those who joined us for this conversation, Thomas Kojokwansa, lecturer, UPSA Law School, and Ishak Ibrahim, lecturer, UPSA Law School. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming. And uh, you, on the other end, stay with us. There's still a lot more action. We'll be right back on the AM Show.